Hi guys, today I am doing a tag and this is the hair tag. So there are 21 questions about hair and I'm going to answer them. I am a hairdresser so I thought this would be really, really, really great. I'm studying hair at the moment and I do a lot of hair things on my YouTube so I thought this would be really, really great. Comment down below if you want more kind of tag question things like this to get to know me a bit more about different subjects like I do quizzes and things like that if you want that um and yeah let's get started. why did you start taking better care of your hair because I'm a hairdresser and no one wants to have a ratchet haired hairdresser because you like more if you can't take care of your hair then what things that you can take care of mine so that's the reason why I started taking care of my hair but I have always loved hair care from a young age I've always liked it. My mum's always said, you always spend so much time on your hair when I was younger than anything else. So I've always done it, but I've upped the game since I've been a hairdresser and my knowledge has gone up. So I kind of know what to do. So I just do it because I know what to do and I know what products are good and bad for your hair and things like that. So yeah. So what are your favourite hair products? I have one and that is my DIY heat protectant it is life I love it I it just gives you conditioner but not too much it doesn't make your oily roots and you can add as much and as little oil as you want it can just you know what's going in it because you make it and I think that is amazing also if you've got blonde hair a good um purple shampoo is great as well good purple shampoo you always need and conditioner if you've got blonde hair it will save you it saved my ends completely so them are my favorite products <laughs> number three who whose hair did you admire as a child do you know what i don't even know to be honest i don't no do you know who like not as a child but through school Nicki minaj and i know that her hair is wings but i didn't know that when i was at school and i loved it like that is whose hair I admire and I still admire because I've done my hair black when she did and I've done a lot of things. Like Nicki Minaj's hair is always on fleek. So Nicki Minaj. What is your ultimate goal length? Well, if you'd asked me a year ago, it'd be down to my hips, but now I'm fine with my length, which is here. I cut all my hair off. I was an inch away from having it to my hips. I said, I can't do this anymore. I can't handle it. I need a length where I've got some length there that I can, you know, play with it and twiddle with it, put it up, plait it and things like that. But not so much where I can't handle it. And I think this length, right where your boobs are, or a little bit under, is perfect. I love it. And I think it's really, really cute. How are you going to celebrate when you reach your ultimate goal hair length? Well, I've already reached it. And by doing that, I kind of dyed my ends blonde. So I just thought it's going to look so cute with a little, little, you know, long, short cut, graduation cut with a bit of blonde through it. And then you can dye these colours whatever you want your roots aren't going to get damaged and I was like yes I'm going to do that so that's what I kind of done to celebrate my hairstyles you want to try when you reach your goal length I was when I reached it I was so scared that I couldn't put my hair up in a bun so the first thing I done was get home and practice putting my hair up in a bun with short hair and I could do it I was like yes I'm fine bun and ponytails I'm fine with so they are the two that I did when I first got home and yeah I like I didn't cry I was like this is everything that I need. Which do you prefer length or health? I prefer health. Healthy hair doesn't matter how short it is if your hair is healthy it will grow longer but if your hair is dead and long and straggly it's not gonna look cute. If your hair is here and it's healthy it's gonna grow trust me it will grow but if your hair is dead and long it just, looks, it just looks like a mess. It looks like a mess. So, that. Which do you prefer? Hair ties with no metal parts or butterfly clips? Hair ties. I don't even care if they've got metal in it or not. I know metal's not too great for your hair, but I don't care. Hair ties. I don't care about hair clips. I don't care for like little butterfly hair clips. Like, no. Hair ties, I cannot live without. I have, do I have one on my wrist? No, because it's in my hair. I always have one in my on my wrist. What products do you prefer? Salon brands, organic brands, drugstore brands. Well, as I said, it's a salon and a drugstore. I like the Lee Stafford and I like, um, oh my God, I can't remember. 
I've got his toning product. I'm going to go and get it because I really, really like it. Found it. John Frieda. That's who I like as well. I dyed my whole hair with John Frieda. Done my whole bleaching with it. Absolutely brilliant. John Frieda. And this is the purple conditioner that I was talking to you about. I love John Frieda. He is great. He's the best. Okay. <laughs> um, which product does technique, dash technique, do you think is overrated? Um, dry shampoo. Just... Like some, they hit and miss for me. Like I don't use them on my clients personally, but they just hit and miss for me because just wash your hair, just wash it. Like, you know, only the only reason why I like dry shampoo is if this is the only reason. So I'll take it back. This is why it's like a hit and miss. It's for weddings because if you spray it, it gives you a lot of volume. But then like, you know, because sometimes you have to say to your client, don't wash your hair the night before your wedding. And they're like, what? get lost no way i'm not doing that but like just trust me and then they'll they won't wash it hopefully they'll come back and i'll do this dry shampoo and it'll give it a lot of volume and texture that is the only time i use dry shampoo on wedding hair that's it which product do you think is underrated um just good shampoo you know just a decent shampoo you don't ever hear someone go oh, i love shampoo shampoo is life but you do because that's what you use to wash your hair so like just shampoo and conditioner, I think it's like not talked about enough in the beauty world. What is your favourite part of your hair regimen? I'm low drying the shit out of my hair. I hate my hair wet, so I'm just like low drying it. Yes, and I can style it the way I want. If I want a bit of a wave, I can, you know, bend the brush the way I want it. If I want it straight, I can straighten it with the blow dry. I love my blow dries. Um, what is the most annoying part of your hair regimen? Again, just having wet hair and trying to brush through it with a wide tooth comb is like, that's the reason why I don't like to wash my hair. Because that, uh-uh, that's not cute. <laughs> your next one is oils or butters. Now, I'm very conflicted about this because yesterday I tried a great um, butter in my hair. I had someone wash my hair and oh my god, it's amazing. But... Oil, I think I would go for butters, hair butters, because they're really good and they don't get too oily, but they make your hair soft. But oils, they make, obviously, if you put them in your roots, it's going to make your hair oily. But I use oils at home, but when I'm at the salon, I use butters. But I prefer butters, so butters, hair butters, always. Um, buns or ponytails, this is so hard for me because that's all I wear, but buns. Buns all the time. Buns, AF. Wigs or weaves? weaves no it depends on how bad your hair is if your hair's really bad go for a wig but if it's you know decent and you just want some length go for a weave but i like clip-ons because they don't damage your hair so but i don't like all them beaded ones every time a client asks me for that i'm like no because i don't want to do it on your hair like i really don't like it but yeah no yeah. Your next question is, which is question 17, what are your options on hair growth acts? I, on hair growth aids, I like them, I like hair growth products, but you've got to try, this is, again, I have a love-hate relationship with them, you've got to try different ones that goes with your hair type. Your hair type might be so hard that you might have to even mix a couple together. You just got to keep on trying until you find the right one and the best one. I honestly don't use hair growth products because I like the way my hair is now. Um, but yeah, you just got to try the best ones for you. Keep trying, you'll definitely find them. If not, go home and the ones you've got, just mix them together in a little bowl. And then when you go in the shower, then try it because all them chemicals them things mixed together might then make your hair grow so if you've got like two or three hair growth products at home mix them all together and then put them on your hair obviously if there's not oil you can put that on after when you get out of the shower mix them all together and then see what happens that's just a tip for me i don't know because it can work and on hair type it's just different hair what at what length do you consider long hair like just Past your boo, where you 
bra strap zits probably yeah long hair that would be long hair to me mine's medium which is on your move so yeah just party boom would be hair length long hair when is the last time you visited a salon yesterday because i am a hairdresser but no personally getting my hair done oh my god like last summer i don't Oh, it's so hypocritical, but I don't like getting my hair done at a hair salon. I know what my clients are like, my, like, clients that don't like getting their hair done. I'm like, I know, I don't get like getting my hair done either, but it's the thing that you have to get done. But what I like about being at college is like, if I need a quick cut, I can just get someone in my class to do it for free for me, um, which is great. So, yeah, my friend Lauren was the last time that I cut my hair, and it was in summer last year when I was just finishing level two do you like to surf most often on youtube channels vlogs or hair films guy tan bitch you know my love for guy tan i someone came in our salon yesterday he was like i met guy tan i was like tell me everything sit down get a cup of tea and tell me everything i he is my hair goals hair idol i want to be him i want to be him i love guy tan guy tan number 21 and finally, what piece of advice would you give someone just starting on their hair journey? Patience is key for hair. Patience is key. That is my best advice. I still struggle with patience. When I'm doing hair up, I'm like, I am gonna chuck this fucking head block out the door in a minute. And they're just like, patience is key. Stay yourself as well. Especially if you're going into like a hair class, stay yourself. Don't try and change your hair to be like someone else. Keep your hair. Your hair is great. Um, condition and shampoo. And heat protection. They are my words of wisdom. <laughs> so I hope you like this little quiz about hair. I thought it would be really good. And as I was a hairdresser, I just thought I'd show you some of my tips. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below if you want to do some more quizzes like this. I really like them. And you get to know me that like, tad a little bit more. Um, it's up to you if you do it. Um, <laughs> comment down down below, like, subscribe, all my links will be linked down below if you want to see them. Um, Snapchat is the best because I do actually show you some of my work that I do at college as well, which is great. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Yes. But I'm getting it sprung One time deep bang Keep getting It's the immigrants <laughs> Taking over yeah, no, 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 God, hey, The 80s, that's why I'm a little crazy Here's a little Let me free, baby, freakily Woo!